Welcome to episode 31 of Talking Tendy with Wayne the VO Goalie, the only daily live stream where you are always the starting goaltender. Happy Monday, everybody. I am super excited that you're here today because it is a brand new week of Talking Tendy. We are entering week number six. And uh, if you told me, if you told me six weeks ago that I would be doing a daily live stream Monday through Friday, um, yeah, you, I would have, I would have said, yeah, that's not going to happen. But here we are, episode number thirty-one, and this is a special week for a couple different reasons. One, it is the last week of of uh, of the month of March, right? And that means that this upcoming Saturday is our is the first Saturday of April, which means it's our extended ninety-minute live stream Saturday morning. 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you want to be a part of that, super easy. You can join my membership at the VOG Squad by clicking the Join button right down here. Um, and join us, uh, join the membership. It's super fun. Like, the Saturday ones are much more interactive. We get to hang out. We have much more detailed conversations. And um, we just get to, like, yeah, chill out on a Saturday morning, like like watching your Saturday morning cartoons, right? But aside from that, this week is... Um, I thought it'd be fun to do something a little different, and that is... I think this week is going to be called uh, the NHL Goalie Week because we are entering a really special time in the episode numbering, right? We are entering the goalie numbers. And today is episode 31. So if you're watching this in the replay, I want to know who your favorite goalie who wore number 31 is. Drop it down in the comments below. um, And I will, uh, I'll comment and I'll let you know who my favorite goalie who wore 31 way back in the day was. you probably can guess, but I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how well you all know me. So, um, welcome to today's show. This, this, uh, you can participate in the show in a couple different ways, right? You can use hashtag TT along with your question in the chat, which helps me identify it for a future episode. Or if you're watching this in the replay, use hashtag TT in your comment, and uh, I pull all those for for future episode topics. Um, or two, my favorite way, you can follow me over on Instagram at VOGoalie and leave me a voice message, and I will play those in a future episode. Today's question, we're talking about today um, mask wraps and mask painting, and that was, it was a question asked to me by William, who used hashtag TT in a chat uh, in one of these episodes, I think a, a long time back, so thanks so much for your patience. And I thought, yeah, we haven't talked about uh, mask wraps versus mask painting. So let's do that today, right? But I by no means am uh, the sole authority on this. So if you have a different experience, if you have a mask wrap or if you have your mask painted, let us know in the comments below because I like these videos to be resources for people that, for new goalies that stumble upon them looking for information about their own decision making, right? So let's talk about mask wraps and mask painting. I think. Um, Mask wraps are, are something that's relatively new within the last, I would say, maybe five to ten years. I think traditionally we thought about masks being strictly painted with regards to aesthetics. Um, and then as technology and, like, you know, adhesive vinyl came along and, and digital printing, that opened up the floodgates for creativity in terms of other alternatives to painting. So I think that... There are a couple different factors when we talk when we, when we consider mask wraps or painting. The obvious one is is cost, right? If you hire a mask painter, depending on the level of detail of your mask, it could be a pretty expensive commission. Um, on the other hand, mask wraps are an affordable option if you want to customize your your mask in some way. And so, and I think that you also. With, with higher level of detail, right? So if you hire a mask painter with an extreme level of detail in your mask design, that of course will run you a little bit extra. But um, conversely, sometimes the, it, it, will, it will be more cost effective to go the mask wrap route for those complex designs. The other thing, and I've had both, right? I've had adhesive vinyl on my masks. I've had painted masks. Um, let's talk about durability because I think that that is one of the biggest questions, right? Like which one is which one is more durable? So aside from cost, I think that it depends on it depends. It depends on how much you get hit in the head. I think it depends on the clear coat that any given mask painter will use. Um, I think it depends on the level of play that you play at and the the strength of the shots that you're facing. Um, but I think that 
typically, you know, the, the cons are if you spend a lot of money on a paint job and, um, and you take a shot to the mask, typically the clear coat will absorb, I think, the brunt of the blemish to your, to your shell, right? Whether that be a puck mark that you could wipe off or uh, potentially s- sand off the clear coat and then reapply a new layer of clear, right, to, to get that finish again. Um, I think a wrap, you know, goes either way. Like, I, I'm not exactly sure how well wraps hold up to high impacts. If your mask gets cracked, I think you're out of luck either way. But the investment in, um, in a wrap might be cheaper than having your mask repainted or fixed. Um, and, and that's the other thing, right? When we talk about our masks that we use on a regular basis, I think if you are having a mask as a showpiece and you want it painted like the whole old school nine yards, then yeah, go for that because you don't have to worry about taking pucks off of it. You don't have to worry about the paint job getting chipped or scratched or anything like that, right? But we as goalies like to use our equipment and not be afraid of, I don't know, getting our head in the way of a shot or anything like that, right? So if it's more cost effective to get a wrap um, and you will feel more comfortable using your mask and not worrying about babying it and, you know, like not using it, uh, go for a wrap because that will help you get that same kind of level of customization and, and without having to worry about chipping your, you know, $900, $800, $1,200 investment in your paint job. Um, another factor I think we should think about is the permanence of it, right? If you are someone that is likes to change their color scheme of their equipment or someone who bounces from team to team, or someone that may have multiple masks on multiple teams, um, or someone that may outgrow their mask, there are a variety of reasons why you may not want something as permanent as getting your mask painted, um, as opposed to being able to remove a wrap and order and install a new one that matches with whatever, whatever color scheme, whatever equipment, whatever team, jerseys you are going for, right? I think if you are going the route of neutral colors and a design that is specific to you as an individual and not team-centric or team color-centric, then I think you could, you know, you could safely go with a painted mask that uh, speaks to you personally. But if you're someone that likes to match your team jerseys, if you're someone that likes to, I don't know, change it up a little bit, right? Um, a mask wrap could be the better way to go. The last factor, I think, which is one of the more important ones when it comes to considering painting or wraps is for you youth goalies out there and the goalie parents out there. Because a lot of times, some mask painters might not be certified to paint masks at the certification level because that involves potentially removing the cage, that involves potentially removing foam, that involves potentially changing the mask in some way from the factory. And so you may or may not be able to get certificate, certified painters that, um, or have access to that, or it might be an exp- extended cost. Whereas something like um, vinyl decals that can be applied on the exterior of your mask by yourself, uh, you know, on your own, don't necess- won't, you won't worry about voiding the certification on your child's mask when it comes to um, youth hockey. So that's definitely something to consider, especially if they, uh, if they abuse their mask. I, I don't know if kids take care of their equipment as well as some of us older goalies do. Um, but yeah, those are, those are my thoughts. Those are like the whole bunch of considerations. But if you have something that I didn't mention, let us know in the comments, because like I said, this, these videos are resources for people, um, researching a whole bunch of different topics. And so that leads me to one of my favorite parts of the day. And that is the goalie gear of the day. And today's submission comes from Frederick, who in fact sent me this photo of his 
mask wrap, which has a Vegas theme, which I think is just, I don't know, it looks super cool. Sometimes with, with mask wraps, I feel like you can get um, some finer details that are, are lost. And case in point, he sent me a second photo and this is the top of this is the top of his mask, which I think is super cool because obviously you can see that it looks like playing cards from a distance, but when you're up close, you can see that the cards actually spell out his name Fred. And that's just one of those cool little those cool little details that I think work both ways from a distance and from up close. And uh, so Fred, thank you so much for submitting your photo. You are the goalie gear of the day. Oh, boy, man, these like talking tendy episodes go by so quickly. I see this. I see the chat going like flying through here and I see all of like your awesome smiling gully faces and I want to hang up some more. But unfortunately, my time is my time is up today. I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question. But you know what? I will be right back here tomorrow and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and Saturday this week. So I hope to see you then. Have a fantastic Monday. Be good to each other out there. And uh, just remember, you are totally awesome. Take care, guys. (laughs) 